this deck is just literally the banana of all bananas. You can peel it and inside there is only banana reap. Freaking goodness. Mm -mm. What up brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matt Malone. Happy freaking Sunday. I hope you're having a blessed freaking Sunday here at the Church of Malone. We are right now on our way to 15,000. We're so close. So freaking close. So if you want to help the channel out, shameless plug at the beginning, make sure to subscribe. Because hey, we will try our darndest to make those decks every single freaking day. So if you're into that kind of stuff, maybe consider becoming, you know, part of the Malone freaking family. I would appreciate it very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the rotation proof shredding hammering. This deck, oh my lord. I mean, you've seen it in a title already. We went freaking undefeated in eight games in a row. Doesn't matter if you're going first, if you're going second, no matter what. We clutch those wins. We clutch those victories like there was no tomorrow. Because we have the meanest of all mean creatures all coming together like good old lasagna, man. You know, you have a good creature over a good creature over a good creature over a freaking good creature. And it is a lasagna of victory, my friends. So, we are circled around good old Storm Chaser Drake. Whenever you target it, you draw a card. We have the Ledger Shredder. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, you connive, which is super darn good, because that grows the Ledger Shredder even bigger. We do have the Spectral Adversary, but we're coming to that last. We do have the Illuminator Virtuoso. Whenever you target this guy, you guessed it, it connives. And that is super darn good. And of course, as a one drop, we have the Delver of Secret that if everything works out well, will turn into an insectile abomination. Aberration? Yeah. Insectile dysfunction is what I like to call it. So look at this dude, like, looking at this little insect, turning into the insect. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. And that is what we're trying to do. And I mean, hey, our chance to find something that isn't a land or a creature are, you know, a little bit more than 60%. Because we have a lot of freaking spells that we can use. So let's get into them. Well, also, Spectral Adversary, once more, you will come over here. We will talk about you last. So... We do have the Lever of Secrets. To play this turn one, super good. Now you just keep up your mana, you know? You have to slip out the back to protect your creature. It fades out, it gets plus one, plus one counter. You have the Spell Pierce. Nobody expects the Spell Pierce. I can tell you. No one expects the Spell Pierce. We have four March of the Swirling Mist. Because then we can phase out our opponent's creatures. Either to survive if we're up against an aggressive deck. We can phase out our creatures. Just to, you know, make sure that if they wipe the board, it is only a one-sided board wipe. And that is super darn good. And we can also use this, I don't know, that's it. To protect our own creatures, to protect, uh, to get rid of our opponent's creatures. And we have four of them because they're so darn freaking important. So, this phases out, this phases out. That is pretty darn good. How else do we protect our creature apart from the spell pierce? Well, we have the boon of safety three times, as I said. This is freaking rotation proof, so all of the things you see in here are from the next freaking set. So we have the Boon of Safety. It gives a creature a shield counter and you scry one. If you put this now on the Storm Chaser Drake, you know, that is pretty darn tasty, because you draw a card and you scry. What else do you want? Sadly, you draw before you scry, but at least then you can make sure that the next card you get is something that you actually freaking want. With the Ledger Shredder the same. As you play two spells, it will get shredded even more, even stronger, and that is super darn nice. And if you target something with the Illuminator Virtuoso, not only does it now get a boon of safety, but it will also grow freaking bigger, and that is just darn freaking nice. We have the Homestead Courage, gives a creature plus one, plus one counter, and it has flashback. That means if you discard this one with your Illuminator Virtuoso or your Ledger Shredder, you still have it. It only costs one still, and it gives Vigilance, which is also so darn freaking good. Then we have three security bypasses, because if we can put this onto Illuminator Virtuoso, now it only connives because of this, but afterwards only conni also connives when it attacks in. 
that means, let us say, that your opponent is at, I don't know, 12 life. Now your Illuminator Virtuoso is a 5-5. Five five. After you put down the security bypass, you slam in. Now it deals damage. It connives. You get in for that last bit of damage and you destroy them. Easy freaking peasy. Did I do the math right? I think I did. It was like, you know, the security bypass already gave you the counter. But hey, this is video number three I'm recording today, so cut me some slack, man. So, now why do we have the Spectral Adversary in here? Well, it is also in March of the Swirling Mist on a stick. But having just the flash creature that you can use to face out your own creatures is already pretty darn freaking good. Because, hey, it is just amazing. It comes in, it only costs two to activate this. So if you have four mana, you can protect your other creature. If you have uh, six mana, you can protect two creatures. If your opponents are attacking in, you can make their creatures phase out. You can also play this, play this you know, as a temple. It is just amazingly freaking good. And it's also part of the sets that we are allowed to play in a rotisserie rotation circle. I don't know, rotisserie is just a word that I like to say today. What else do we have here? Well, we have only 22 lands. Yes, that is 8, 16, 20, 21, 22. We have 8 very beautiful planes by Rosemary. We have 8 very beautiful islands by Andy. And we do have the 4 deserted beach. I mean, yes, they come and tapped in the early game. But usually that's no problemo. We have the Altavara. So we can return something that flies. To make sure that we, you know, get rid of the creatures. And we have the Aiganjo to destroy something. Maybe to protect our freaking life total might be freaking necessary so just be freaking careful you know always leave your mana open for your slip out the back for your spell piece for the march of the swirling mist that is super darn important if you stand there with your pants down trust me it will take a picture and put it online that is what's going to happen you don't want to be shamed like that no king shaming here. So yeah, always keep your mana open. Rather not play something than to play something and lose it right freaking away. Because we need our creatures. We need them real freaking good. So thank you also very freaking much. Thanks once more for being here on this blessed Sunday in the Church of Malone. Even though I'm doing something very unholy by playing the rotation proof version of this deck. I'm Max Malone and I will see you in those shredding games. Today I want to prove that this deck is going to be disgusting for the next few years, man. For the next freaking few years. Opponents going first. Kind of like it. I will be bringing down the Ledger Shredder first. Uh, I don't like that the opponent's going first, but I like our hand here. It is mill, it's mill, right? Oh no, it's not. Okay. It is something weird. But okay. I'll accept it. I'll accept it for now. Uh, oh, it's Demir Zom. Oh, it's it's uh, yeah, it's ninjas. It's ninjas. Okay, all right. Well, that's still okay. That is still a okay. Yeah, they're making themselves one little uh, one little treasure here. But hey, we're still kind of fine. Kind of fine. And we'll be bringing down the ledger shredder first. I don't want to lose my Illuminator Virtuoso, to be honest. And we're just going infinite ledger shredders here. They can go in, play another... Yeah, okay, they tapping this one down. Annoying as heck. But if they do something else, we at least get to, uh, you know... Uh, get to cycle a card with the connive. But we will see if we're ever able to. We will see if we are ever able to. So right now, your tempo game is real. Oh, come on, man, what? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> just have them all. No worries here. No freaking worries at all. But what are you doing? Are you getting rid of it? Are you now? Are you getting rid of my slip out the back? Or the Illuminate the Virtuoso? I mean, whatever they're doing, you know, now they know my hand. Now I cannot surprise them anymore. Ninjas, man. Long time no see. Long freaking time no see. So hopefully we find a land here. That would be pretty darn good. Pretty darn freaking good. We don't. Okay. We don't find a land here. That is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. We'll be bringing down the uh, Illuminator Virtuoso now. Alright. And we're chilling. There's literally no reason to do anything here. We'll just be chilling. Trying to get in with the Illuminator Virtuoso later. 
Another network disruptor. Oh my sweet lord. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey. I mean, hey, you know, that, that is just how it is. That is just how it freaking is. Okay, so we do have the opposite courage here now. That is at least something. That is something that I like a lot. We're getting rid of the uh, Ledger Shredder number two. We're putting down another one on the Illuminator Virtuoso. The more damage we get in for the weather, you know? The freaking weather. Okay. I mean, hey, it's not exactly what I was looking for here. But it is still alright, you know? Uh, we can get rid of the Homestead Courage. That is nice. I like it. I really do. Okay. And we are just slamming in with everything. Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't, you know? One darn good freaking reason why I freaking shouldn't. Okay, that is nice. I like it. I really freaking do like it. So we can now block the... Um, we can now block this bi Biting Palm Ninja. That is also very darn good. And we will see what they're doing here. Like, we do have to slip out the back. We do have the March of the Swirling Mist. So things are still looking A-OK, -okay, you know? Alright. If they're just bringing in the thing, that is still okay with me. We will see if they're doing so. They are. Okay. In that case, let's get rid of the Spectral Adversary. We'll get rid of these two creatures. I don't want him to bring down another Network Disruptor here. He absolutely freaking lutely not. Okay. That is so good. <laughs> it's just so good, man. <laughs> That is just so freaking disgusting. So really freaking disgusting, man. Okay, Sag. Okay, perfect. Freaking perfect. So uh, we're slamming in there for a lot of freaking damage. And now we have the March of the Swirling Mist for afterwards. Just being amazing. So, ninjas. You're up. You're freaking up. What's up with that, ninjas? What is up with that? What are you freaking doing here? If they do have something for my Illuminator Virtuoso, you know? That is absolutely alright with me. We'll just freaking slip out the back here. We will see what they have. If they have another bomb biting palm ninja, that would be a little bit annoying, but we still can put down the, um, you know, the thing on them. All right. So what you got here, my friend? What have you got here, my friend? No bomb pi bo palm biting ninja. That is pretty darn good. I like it a lot. Okay, we're bringing down you here. Paying two here. Let's just hope they don't have a counter spell. They don't! All right, and then we just slam in. Bam! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I told you, this deck will be here to stay, man. This deck will be disgusting for the next freaking two years. Is what it is. Get out of here. I mean, hey, you know, it's ninjas. What do you expect them to win a game if ninjas were good? People were just still playing them, you know? We're going first here. I like it. I really do. We have the uh, Daver of Secrets here that we can play with a boon of safety. But I think we're going with the Storm Chaser Drake here, to be honest. Oh, my. Okay. Well, in that case... Yeah, let's still go with the Storm Chaser Drake. Oh, they're Demir! And they have an answer right away. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful! Just beautiful. Alright, maybe I was a little cheeky here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should not have freaking done that. Alright. So now we can chill though. We do have the two Ledger Shredders. And uh, we will see what they're doing here. The Skullport Merchant. Okay. Themselves a treasure. That is found by me. Bringing down the Delver. And the Homestead freaking Courage. 
I think I'm getting rid of another Delver here. Or is it the March? I think it is the March. We can now slam in there. Yes, they're blocking. But they don't have the mana to protect it, you know? And that is already pretty darn freaking tasty. Okay. So what are you learning here, my friend? What are you freaking learning here? What? Okay, well, we don't have those. We cannot use them. And we won't. And we freaking won't use them. They're not doing anything. I love it. I really freaking do. So, please no land. Okay, that ain't no land. That is beautiful. That really is beautiful. Okay. So. I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know. All that matters is that we have the Homestead Courage here. And that we can use our Ledger Shredder afterwards. We will see what they're doing here. Okay, we're getting rid of the land. We can use our Ledger Shredder to protect our creatures. And that is what I want to do here. They might have a board wipe, you know, but if they use the board wipe here, that is absolutely alright with me. The Zarid Sun, the Trickster. Okay. What the living heck is going on today? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> what the living heck is going on today? Alrighty. What do we even have in here? The Storm Chaser Drake. I don't want him to have that. I absolutely do not want him to have that. So I'm doing this now. They could sacrifice something here if they really want to, but they don't. Okay, beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So we're bringing down this one here. We, we still haven't won yet, you know? We still have not freaking won yet. But we're doing our freaking darndest. Well, it still isn't victory, so eh? But we are very darn freaking close. And if they want to wipe the board here, that is fine by me. I will just block this Ericsson here, you know? I will just freaking block it. Okay. They do have a board wipe. Alright. I do not like it, but it is what it is. And if they do have the board wipe, we do have the boon of safety. And that is just very darn beautiful. Okay. That is exactly why we have this. That is freaking exactly why we freaking have this. Nope. They could have brought back. They could have brought back their freaking Night Witch. That is what they could have done here. They could have brought back their freaking Night Witch. Have another chance at life. They did not think about that at all. They did not think about that at all. Get out of here, Vantian. Get out of here. My lord, these games are taking way too long. The Spaz Muffin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a name. What a freaking name. So, we do have a very nice hand here. I mean, we do have three creatures, yes, but we do have also two non-creatures. Opponents going first. So I would like to think that we did not go first a single game yet. Not a single one. And that is just disgusting. So we're up against Boros here, I'm pretty darn certain. I mean, this muffin here cannot fool me. Can try, but it can't. I told you. Freaking told you. Alright. That is okay though. I like that, I have to say. I really do. Okay. So we are going with the Ledger Shredder here. If they do have the thing in hand right away, they do have it. Nothing I can do about it, is there now? Well, they don't. They freaking don't. I like it, I really do. And maybe we do find a land. We did find a land. Oh, freaking a meowsing. Just freaking a meowsing. Okay, alright. So now we can chill here. And we can just, you know, block away to victory. Block away to victory. Alrighty. All freaking righty. So they are attacking with both. Which is questionable to say the very least. But hey, you do you, my friend. You do freaking you, my friend. My turn. Yes, it is my turn. 
So bringing down the Homestead Courage here onto our Illuminator Virtuoso. And getting rid of another Illuminator Virtuoso. Uh, now we're bringing down... You know what? Let's just bring down another one. We need to out aggro them. And the faster, the freaking better. Um, the Spell Pierce... I think we're getting rid of the Storm Chaser Drake. The Spell Pierce is pretty darn nice here, not gonna lie. And the Stelver of Secrets is also very darn good. Okay, we are just slamming in. I mean, that is 12 freaking damage coming their way. And what are they even supposed to do? Good game! Good game! Get out of here! Get out of here, you little muffin! I told you! This deck is here to stay, man! You can take a little muffin, you can get the wrapper, get it off your little muffin, and put that wrapper over your eyes because you don't want to see this. You don't want to see this, man. I beat you. I beat you with two creatures. You lost with two creatures. Get out of here. Rotation proof, baby. Like a rotisserie chicken. I eat you up, man. Rotation proof. Opponent's going first. I mean, a. Like, as I said, we're not going first a single freaking game. That is all right. That is a-okay. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that, you know. Who needs going first anyways? Alrighty. We're bringing down the Ledger Shredder here. If they do have a counter spell, so be it. They don't. But they have a Dragon's Fire, don't they? Freaking don't they. They don't? Okay, I like that. I really do. Expressive iteration. Oh, my lord. That might have been the last thing that you're doing here, my friend. The last thing you're doing. Hopefully, at least. Okay, the Otavara. No problem with that. And I'm bringing down the Illuminator Virtuoso now. And keeping up my spell, Pierce. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So we will see what they're doing here. Spell Pierce is pretty nice in this deck. I like it a lot. I really freaking do. They might try to bring down a... Um, what's his face? The, the, the Mirror Breaker, you know? That is something that they might want to bring down here. Are you looking at my ledger shredder? Stop looking at my shredding! Mmm! Ledger shredded here! It took me so long to understand what a ledger even is. <laughs> like, when I first saw the name in German, I was like, Oh, that is what that is. Yeah, you're not doing that, my friend. Not at all. You just threw away a perfectly fine land here. Okay, I just have a lot of lands myself. No problem here. Another Illuminator Virtuoso, I like that, I really do. We're playing the land here now, and bringing down another one here. We need to get in for as much freaking damage as we can, as fast as we freaking can. Okay, that ain't good at all. That ain't good at all. Okay. Alright, so that is the only way you lose the game. If you just find nothing but freaking land all freaking day long, then you freaking lose the game, I promise you that much. I do, my friends. So there was what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands in the first 14? In the 23? 22 land deck. 22, let me double check. 8, 16, plus 2 is 18, plus 4 is 20? We're even only running 20. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> so do you really want to risk it for the biscuit here? Do you now? I have two blue mana open. Oh, you don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Okay, all right, I like that, I really do. So what you got here, my friend? What have you gotten here, my friend? I hope it is something worth my while. Are you returning this to my hand now? Okay. Well, the thing is, I will connive here first. The spell pierce. Not exactly needed, sadly. Freaking sadly. We're still conniving here, which is nice. I like it a lot. And now we bring down the Storm Chaser Drake here. Okay, beautiful. I will do this though. So that we are out of reach for a freaking uh, burn down the house. I mean, hey, once more, we're drawing a lot of freaking land here. There's one, and they scoop! Oh, it did not even matter! I can say whatever I want about drawing a bajillion lands, but oh my lord, one, two, three, four, five here. Plus uh, one, two, three, four in here. So that makes nine lands in the first 18. In the last end, 23 land deck, get! 
out of here. I mean, we're for it all right now. Crayon V. We already played this person and they had another avatar. Like, I remember my joke about, you know, is this really a crayon and everything? All right, we're going first here. I like it. We finally go first. We do have a Delver of Secrets, so there is a high chance that we will be paid for this in, like, you know, d derivatives. I, I don't know English words about anything. <laughs> about math and stuff like that. Uh, decline. We're not uh, revealing that at all. And we're bringing down the uh, Ledger Shredder here. Okay. We need to be a little bit aggressive. A little bit, though, only. And our boon of safety will be exactly what we need here. So, are you Boros, Crayon V? You are Boros. Oh, how inspiring. How freaking inspiring. Please no land off the top. Well, that that's also almost just as bad, you know. That is almost just as freaking bad. Alright, I'm bringing down the Storm Chaser Drake here. Because I might just bring down the boon of safety onto that storm piece of break. And we will see what they're doing here. If they want to shoot it. If they do have like, you know, a brutal Cathar. I don't know what I will be doing. The Sunrise Cavalier. Ear. Okay. That is still alrighty with me. Where are you putting it? Right there. Okay. We're passing to blocks here like this. Losing my uh, Diver of Secrets is okay. I don't like it, but it's okay. Another land, not really. So they're losing their Luminarch, which is extraordinarily good. Okay, go ahead. Do your deeds here. Do your dirty deeds, my friend. Another land game. What have I ever done to deserve this? Why are you like this? Can't you be normal? I prefer another ledger shredder. I really do. I mean, hey, we're just slamming in through the air. Every single freaking turn here now. And we will see if we can be faster than Boros once more. It will be freaking interesting if we can be. Will be freaking interesting. And if we draw anything but a land here, we are also super good. Because then we can play Ledger Shredder. Oh no, there is the Brutal Cathar now. What are you taking care of? Okay, I don't like it one single bit. Not in the slightest. Okay, yeah, you can have the three damage here. Well, there is a Spectral Adversary now. I am slamming in with everything. They blocked this brutal with this brutal Cathar. I'm getting back a ledger shredder. Which is super darn good. And if not, I'm still getting in there for six freaking damage. Which is also super darn good. Alrighty. So four five. We're taking five here ourselves. We'll be getting down for another one here, depending on what they do. Do they have anything in here? They do not. We do not have anything in there. Okay. Just attacking him with this. That is absolutely alright with me. There goes nothing! Let me see. This is five. We are doing this. Yes, I want that. I want that very much. Now they have to block here. They have to freaking block here. And we will keep our... Uh, our freaking uh, boon of safety even, you know? So the march of the swirling mist is exactly what we need here. They can get in for five, even if they find like the other thing that is like six, eight, seven only. I don't think that they have enough red mana to be annoying here, you know? I just don't think they do. I just don't freaking think they do. Oh my, okay, well, I mean, hey, that is indeed something, you know? But hey, we're still looking good, we're still looking pretty darn good. 
because hey, what are they going to do against my supremacy here? And they scoop! Oh, baby! This deck is bananas, man! Just bananas! I thought that the other version was better, but I have to say, this rotation-proof rotisserie chicken of goodness is better than the other version. It is the cream of the crop. Holy smokes, we are unbeaten right now. We're up against Slavicon with a little feather in his hand. Opponent's going first once more. Okay, well, we went first last game, so, hey, you know, what am I supposed to do about it? Mono freaking black with the eye twitch. We already had that before, didn't we? Freaking didn't we? We'll be going with the Ledger Shredder first. Because why the heck not, you know? The Tenacious Underdog. Okay. I don't mind that too much. And here comes the Ledger Shredder boy. Okay. So, I don't really know what I will be doing. I don't really know yet. I really don't like where this is going right now. I really freaking don't like it. No, sir. No, sir. So, them going first is really darn good for them. Really darn freaking good for them. But, hey, you know, we uh, we might also do things here. So, hey. Okay. What are you willing to sacrifice, though? What, my friend, are you willing to freaking sacrifice, though? We'll be doing this now. And I will be drawing a card here, because I will be drawing two cards. I don't need all these Illuminator Virtuosos, you know? I just don't. Okay. And we're slamming in there. Now they need to make a choice. If they do have a little one cost here, I will be very sad. Of course they do. They never not have it. Never not freaking he have it. Okay. Alrighty. You do that, my friend. You freaking do that. At least we're conniving here. Another Illuminator Virtuoso, not exactly what I'm looking for. And we do have the Spell Pierce, so that is also very darn nice. I like that a lot, I have to say. And another Spell Pierce. Okay, alright. So game, don't you screw me with the Auto Tapper, that would be very darn tasty, thank you very much. And we're bringing down this one here. Conniving once more. Uh, we are getting rid of the Delver of Secrets, just not really useful. And we are getting rid of, uh... Wait. The other Illuminator Virtuoso. The next turn we might even freaking get him, you know? We might. They cannot be attacking in here nilly willy. Maybe they are. And if they are, I will just let him. Because I do have the Spell Pierce here. So, hey, go ahead and wipe the board, my friend. Go ahead and wipe the freaking board. I don't mind at all. I really freaking don't. So, we will see what to do in here. Right now, this is still looking A-OK, -okay, you know? I am, after all, the master of Mono Black, you know? That is what I tell people, and that is what people tell me. So, we kind of have to believe him. So, Slavicon, are you roping me now? Are you... Are we going into a little ropey rope dance here? We might, you know? And if we're doing a rope dance, we can also do a little slow dance. <laughs> Oh, they're here! They're here, and they're not doing anything. I freaking love it. I really freaking love it. So, we're bringing down the Homestead Courage onto our Illuminator Virtuoso boy here. Let us see what we can find. I will throw away land. I'm not even chilling. Oh, the Boon of Safety. That is also pretty darn freaking good. Okay. Getting rid of one spell pierce here. As long as we do have... Yeah, whatever happens, we're still kind of fine here. We're still kind of freaking fine here. This needs to go, sadly. But we do have the boon of safety. We do have the freaking, uh, you know. Yeah. I will do the same. <laughs> I will just do the freaking same. Alrighty. So they're blocking here like this. But we're still getting in there for a lot of freaking damage. Lump the Forbidden. Yeah, okay, that is alright, I think. That loses you a lot of freaking life. I'm alright with that. And we will see what you're doing here. Like right now, I'm still freaking winning, you know? I am still freaking winning. And it looks pretty darn good! 
but plump the forbidden, seriously. <laughs> and they scoop! And they scoop, baby! Six to O, oh, man! Six to O! Oh. This deck is just literally the banana of all bananas. You can peel it, and inside there is only banana reap. Freaking goodness! Mm -mm. So we have won six games here. Six games. Can we go seven to O? Oh, we will have to see. Opponents going first once more. No surprises here. None so ever. I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do about it? So I can flash in the spectral adversary lane. Oh, the Demir. The freaking Demir. Okay. So I will not do anything here. I will just flash in the spectral adversary. You're zombies? Okay, all right. They're freaking zombies. All right. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? Paint me impressed is what I'm saying. Paint me freaking impressed, baby. Okay, we're bringing down the ledger shredder here. We do have the, uh, we do have the, um, what's his face? The spell pierce for whatever they're throwing at us. We just need to be a little bit faster than they do. Okay, yeah, you can have the four damage here. I don't mind yet. The tainted adversary. I do mind that a little bit, I have to say. Alright, Storm Chaser Drake, you're up! And we will be bringing down the uh, Homestead Courage onto you. The security bypass. Yeah, we can get rid of another Homestead Courage here. Okay. And we are bringing down another blue source here. So we need to raise them. We need to freaking raise them. And that is what we're doing. Okay. I think they have a board wipe, but we don't have to scratch here. So that is absolutely okay with me. Yeah, that ain't happening, my friend. That ain't freaking happening. Just not at all. Just not at freaking owl. Okay, bringing down the homestead courage on the storm chaser Drake here. It's a land, I hate it. And bringing down another one onto our um, Ledger Shredder boy. Illuminator Virtuoso, okay. That is alright. And we will just try our Durnest here. Just try our freaking is another land, okay. So, we can slam in for 12 now. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Okay. Another Homestead Courage, eh? I mean, that might be important, you know. If they do have a Meteor Mask for three here, I wouldn't like that too much, would I now? This is what, five? Okay. I have to block here like this. Because if they do have a Meteor Mask, we're using it here, we're dying. We're freaking dying. I don't want to die here to zombies. <laughs> <laughs> really, to zombies. No way Jose, man. No way Jose. Now watch him have two freaking things right away. Two freaking removal spells in their hand. Oh, okay. That ain't no removal spell. That is just G to the G. That is seven games won in a row, man. Seven games won in a freaking Row man, this deck is everything, I tell you. It is a pineapple, it is a coconut, it is a freaking margarita of goodness. Get out of here, zombies. Get out of here. All right, last game and then we're done. So I just, oh, come on, I hate this. They show you a little number. They get a number even though, oh, opponent's going first once more. Okay, <laughs> all right. Opponent's just going first once more. With the mono green. I bet they're enchantments. I bet they're freaking enchantments. So I hope that we... Oh my. Unexpected, I have to say. Totally freaking unexpected. Reveal. Yes, reveal. Yes, please. Okay. Alrighty. We're going with the homestead courage here. And just slam in there. The four. That is beautiful. I like it. I really do. So I wonder what we're up against here. But we do have to slip out the back in the worst case, you know. We do have that. So here comes a cat wagon. The field trip. Okay, I, I really... Okay. 
All right. Okay, you feel trip away, my friend. Keep on tripping. Life keeps on tripping, tripping, tripping into the future. Are we doing this? Or is it time for the virtuoso? I think it is time for the virtuoso. And now we're just slamming in for another four here. Oh my lord. This ain't looking good for our opponents here, I have to say. I have to freaking say. The Quandrix Cultivator. It just ain't it, Chief. Just ain't it. Okay. You're gaining some life. That is alrighty with me. So, where will this go, though? I don't want to use my slip out the back here. I am going to use the ledger shredder. And I am going to use this one here. getting rid of the adversary. We are getting rid of security bypass. I want this to be big and strong. Big and freaking strong. That is nice. I like it. We are getting rid of it. That is all that matters to me. That is all that freaking matters to me. So now they will be playing that giant. Topiary Stomper ain't no giant. Two, four, five. Maybe they don't have the giant. Okay, that is nice. I like it. Thank you very freaking much. Getting rid of the beach here. Seems all right. Maybe they just don't have it. All right, you're going all in for a life gain here, which is absolutely understandable. But we're still kind of in the lead here with the life gain, you know? Especially freaking now. We're getting in there for six now. No matter what they do. They really need something real freaking big here. Really freaking big here. To win. Because I do have eight exactly on the freaking battlefield. Freaking exactly. So do you have the giant in hand, my friend? Do you have the giant in freaking hand, my friend? Okay. There is a giant there, in their graveyard. So we will just see what they're doing. How much does a giant cost? Seven. You know what? All I need to do is to get rid of their stupid prosperous innkeeper here. They don't get life. We have exact lethal. And then that's it, Mr. That's it. And then that is it, Mr. That's it. What are you doing? Getting back the... Um, Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they freaking do. We're still kind of fine. Eight wins! Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man! Eight freaking wins! Just use your brains! This is, I will tell you, this will the deck be the deck that everybody will be playing. And I'm not even sorry for it, man. This deck is so disgusting. That people in Disney World are bringing all, all their sawmill, sawdust and put it all over my floor. Because, oh my lord, it looks disgusting in here after I played this deck. Get out of here. Eight, two, freaking, oh my friends. Ya boy did it. Eight wins. We got them all. We got Boros, we got Mono Black, we got Zombies, we got Ninjas, we got even Mono Freak. Did we play against Mono White or was that in yesterday's video? I don't even remember. Do I care? No, I don't. Because we got the 8 wins. And if you turn that around, that's infinity wins, man. That is infinity freaking wins. So, hey, if you want to play a deck that gives you very, very good success rate, this is the deck for you, my friends. 
Yes, you can luck out a little bit and maybe draw only lands, but you have seen. Even if you draw a lot of freaking lands out of the 22 lands that we have in here, you still have a very, very darn good chance of freaking winning. So that is just very darn nice. Very darn freaking nice. I like it a lot. I mean, I won 8 games. What else do you want from me? So, hey, beautiful deck, beautiful day. It is not Sunday for me, but it might be for you. So I hope that you have a blessed freaking Sunday. I want us to give a special thanks to all of these people on this beautiful freaking list. Thank you also very freaking much for going to XMI supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you want to be one of these people supporting the channel with your hard earned cash, well, I won't stop you. <laughs> I just won't stop you. So if you would like to do that, there's a button below every single video that you can push. And there's a link to the patronage that will lead you right to my Patreon page, where you can also become one of these beautiful people on this beautiful list that we have just seen. I mean, now I'm looking at myself. I wouldn't rather say that I'm beautiful, but you know who is? You all are. And remember that, please, remember that. And when you're looking in the mirror and you see that beautiful, beautiful face of yours, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.